In this video, we're going to take a look at what you can expect from this video series. The main thing is that you're going to gain an understanding of the core features of Maya. These core features include modeling, animating, shading and texturing, and rendering. For the most part, you're going to learn through projects. So in a lot of the videos here, we're going to start with an idea and then continue with that idea through the video in order to build a certain asset. So we'll either model something or we'll bring in a model and then texture it, or eventually we'll animate or render it. Most of the videos are done this way that are project-based and expand upon tools that are already presented. So let's take a look at an overview of exactly what it is that you'll be learning. And I'm going to open up a scene here. And here we have a model of a bird or of a crow. And you'll be learning how to model this particular character. And when we talk about modeling, what we're looking at here is taking polygons or small squares or individual shapes and putting them together in order to form something much larger. And in this case, a character or a three dimensional bird, as we see. After we learn a bit about modeling, we'll move into shading. And with shading, we learn how to color an object or add a texture. And in this case here, you can see that we've added photographic material to our character in order to give it a more realistic look. After modeling and after texturing, then we take a look at how we get an object to move. And we call this animation. In this particular example here, we need to add a skeleton to our bird and then add controls to it in order to enable us to add animation. Here we can see the actual skeleton inside of our bird. And if we move a particular joint, that will then cause our geometry with all of its textures to move with it. We can also add controls to help us move those individual skeletal joints. When all the controls are added, we can then animate our character. So we can hit play here and see our bird flying off. Very simple animation. So we'll be taking a look at all of those core components there, our modeling, texturing, animation. And we'll also talk about how we take this then and render it to a movie or individual frames so that when you're through with this video series, you'll be able to do these types of things on your own. Now, Maya is a huge program and can get complicated very quickly. When learning, I suggest keep it simple. Follow the instruction, but when you're doing stuff on your own, don't overdo. It's really, really easy to add too much and drown in complexity. For instance, like when we look at this particular model here, we have a very low amount of geometry. That's the way we like to keep things. Let's keep it simple. So never try to do too much. You might also find that redoing something is the best way. This is great. Redo something as many times as it takes. Repetition is good.